Dozier out. And here's a check swing ground ball to freeze. Feeds Ryu. One pitch, one out. That's the way the bottom of the fifth inning begins on a little excuse me out from Kinsler. Ryu's a, a bigger guy, but a much better athlete than people might not know. Can handle the bat a little bit. Of course, his ability to round the mound. And this is the time during the regular season, fourth through the sixth inning, he did his best work. Which tells me when he gets in rhythm, as you see the replay here, he feels pretty good about all his pitches and the direct line to first base. Practiced that a thousand times in spring training. But the fourth through sixth inning, he had an under one ERA on the year. And that's where he is here now in the middle part of those three innings I just talked about. Jackie Bradley Jr. takes down for ball one. Now Machado is by himself on the left side of the infield. The shift on, and Machado is about even right in the baseline. Bradley singled his first time. And that was back in the second, and he gets under this one, and there's Machado. Two out, nobody on, and the number nine hitter Vasquez coming up. Tonight's telecast is sponsored. By Budweiser, join the team that enjoys responsibly. Budweiser reminds you to drink wiser. I how much those panels are worth. Well, I mean, just about every visiting player comes yeah. to Fenway Park and goes inside the Green Monster and signs his name. I would say a lot. <laughs> Both pitchers tonight have been on their game, even David. Price and give up those two runs. He's his stuff has been outstanding. Vasquez takes a strike. Christian struck out his first time. Five for 23. Strike two. I think it was Mark Wicker, who is a terrific columnist out in Los Angeles, who wrote the piece about Cody Bellinger coming here during the workout, which was on Monday, going inside the wall and trying to find his dad, Clay's signature. He was a utility player and a guy who. Long some innings and some key at bats for the Yankees among other teams and there's a look inside. Did you uh, did you sign inside there? Uh, yes, I did. Good. Did you just find the first open spot and sign or did you? Find a special neighborhood to join. No, no, just open spot. Oh, you're easy. Here's the 0 2. That's inside as Ryu thought he might be headed back to the dugout and the warmth found within. Instead, it's ball one. The Dodgers in the sixth will have Machado, Taylor, and Kemp. One two in the right field Puig will play it on a bounce and Vasquez is on with two out and it will bring in Mookie Betts who hit 32 home runs this season tied for ninth most in the AL and led the league in hitting at 346. What do you think? Will we see Mookie Betts play second base when this World Series goes to Dodger Stadium? I actually do think we will. I, I, he's. I was here when he had to fill in at second base, and it's the happiest I've ever seen a player in my <laughs> life. That's how he came up. Now he's just a great outfielder. He's got terrific hands as he takes a strike, and he still takes ground balls. Yeah. Every day, and he says he doesn't want his hands to get lazy, and that actually helps him in the outfield. That's no stretch to see him go back to the infield. They are sacrificing nothing with his ability to play defense. 
whether it's at second base or the outfield. But what you have to think is you've got to have J.D. in the outfield because they have to have his bat in the lineup. Up the middle, another two-out hit. Vasquez holds it second, two on, two out. And another hit is added for Boston. Number six. Now Ben Intendi, who just made that catch out in left. So a visit on the mound. Ryan Madsen in the bullpen. We'll give you a quick word from Duracell. This is the number one trusted brand. Well, the one RBI tonight for Boston came off the bat of Ian Kinsler with two out. Five of the eight RBIs last night came with two out in game one. And our Budweiser game summary is a comparison of the two starters. You see what they've been able to do is Ryu tries to match David Price by getting through five. Well, you tell yourself not to think about it, but you're reminded of what the Red Sox do with two outs, right? You just got to singly make a pitch at a time and not be carried away with the moment that you've seen from yesterday and the series before. Make your pitch, get back in the dugout. And if you're the Red Sox, you're like, Haha, good luck. Well, the outfield has to play deep. With the power of Benintendi, who hit 16 home runs, none so far this postseason. The lead runner is Vasquez, does not run well. That is blocked for the most part by Barnes, and Vasquez, had he taken off, would have run right into an out. As he talks to Manny Machado and makes him laugh. Ball one to Ben intended. Curve ball catch the chest protector. Not far enough away. Ben intended could tie it with a hit. Extra base hit. Would likely put Boston back on top. Another one in the dirt. With the right handed hitting Steve Pierce on deck, although Mitch Moreland is on the bench for Alex Cora. Ryan Madsen has a little more pressure to get loose and ready here in the fifth. Two to one Dodgers. Two on, two out. 2 0 pitch. Two and one. Good swing. This postseason coming into tonight's game two, their average with two out, 252, with runners on 300. Runners in scoring position, 405. And now over half their runs this postseason have scored with two out. And you come across certain stats and you go, there's no way, that can't be. Nah, it doesn't seem right. One of the stats came across with zero home runs versus starting pitchers since the All-Star break in 130 at bats for Andrew Benintendi. It just doesn't seem possible. He's ready, says so Ryu. Good pitch, strike two. The feel for that pitch tonight's been pretty good. We've seen a couple bounced. First pitch trying to get something other than a fastball, but right there behind an account. Great pitch to get to two and two. Vasquez the runner at second, bets on it first and time called again. And 
so Barnes goes out to talk again second visit of this inning. But it comes from one of the players right now a quick word from YouTube TV. YouTube TV watch like a fan. Time called again. Two and two the count. Full count and that's an advantage for the Red Sox as Vasquez who as I said doesn't run well at second will get a head start. And this is what I was talking about two outs nobody on three outs is hard to get against this team in clean innings. So we get a base hit base hit now a three two stress pitch with the runners going in two outs. Benintendi taps it foul. Andrew had four hits last night, 0 for 2 tonight. One hundred sixty eight hits a career high during the regular season still young. Ryu steps off again. As a pitcher you want to be so convicted on the pitch you're throwing is the absolute right one you can't be in between you can't go with a suggestion you have to go with what you feel is absolutely the right pitch even if it doesn't work out the commit. The committed pitch is way better than the suggested pitch. Well, Ryu and Barnes, the catcher, trying to get on the same page. Now they are. Runners will go. Been a seven pitch at bat. Here's another mound visit. And Dave Roberts told is the one that sent Barnes out there. That was indeed the case. I think he's sensing what you're sensing that he wants to make sure that Ryu is committed to whatever he's bringing here on three and two. Runners go. Gets away. The runners advance. The bases are loaded. Ball four anyway. And I think that's going to be it for Ryu based on the way that they have approach these games and here comes Dave Roberts the first walk of the night by the big left hander is his final act here in game two and Ryan Madsen will come into the ball game with Pierce the scheduled hitter two to one Dodgers leading two out in the fifth New laminated cards for the outfielders. Those are pitching chain. Those aren't baseball cards. Those are not. Bases loaded. Two out. Matson to Pierce. And a ball up and in. Matson worked here last night in game one. Took over in the fifth last night. Allowed one hit in one inning. Walked one. And a couple of inherited runners scored against him. A 1 0 to Pierce. Two yeah, the problem with bringing somebody in here, and Matson's done a great job, is you've got no room for error, of course. And he's pitching on the windup. Two outs, nobody on this inning started. Look at the pressure now that the Dodgers are in because the Red Sox relentless approach. A hit by Vasquez, followed by a hit by Betts, a walk to Benintendi. What's it going to be on 2 0?
two and one. And what Madsen has shown is he does not like to pitch out of the stretch if he doesn't have to. So everyone with two outs, including Ben Attendee, is going to get a huge jump if this were to be a hit. But he feels more comfortable using the deception of his long arm and delivery out of the windup. The 2-1. Three balls and a strike. The 38-year-old Ryan Madsen picked up in season from Washington. Has to throw a strike. Cannot tie game. Fourth time this postseason, the Red Sox have walked with the bases loaded to force home a run. And now you go from Pierce to J.D. Martinez. First batter Madsen faced yesterday was Pierce, and he walked him. Ball one inside on Martinez. What a chance for the big DH first year in Boston after a huge year flies one into right this one will drop Red Sox are on top two runs score it's 4-2. J.D. Martinez, one of the best hitters in baseball with runners in scoring position. He doesn't always try to do it one way. He inside outs it, gets the hit, easily scores two runs with the speed on the bases. And this place is going crazy. It's been a three-run fifth and a chance for more. Two key walks mixed in. The Red Sox have scored nine of 12 runs this series with two out. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And you know, the old saying, you never take anything for granted in the postseason. You never know what's going to turn an inning or turn a game. And again, the ninth spot, a base hit out of their catcher, got this going with two outs. And then you turn it over to the top of that lineup, that heavy top lineup that the Red Sox put heat on the opposing pitchers. Here's a 1 0 from Madsen. Ball and a strike. Bogarts with a double and a run scored in the second, struck out in the fourth. Puts the arms up on ball two, down and in, two and one. A walk to Benintendi ended the game for Ryu. A walk to Pierce with the bases loaded started the effort here in the fifth by Madsen. And a hit by Martinez. Now a strike to Bogarts, two and two. I have not seen the change up. He's come in throwing fastballs up. He's not been able to get it down. He spiked one breaking ball. I wonder if the feel for that pitch. That's his signature pitch.
The 2 2 struck him out. And there was the changeup from Madsen. But a three run fifth from Ryu to Madsen. A walk, a hit by Martinez.